be religious is opposed to you being powerful. What do you want to be, religious or powerful? So why do I say that? Because religion doesn't get supernatural results, but it can get popular approval. And for some people, they would choose that over Jesus any day. Do you hunger for approval from people? Take that desire to God and ask him to shift it from a lateral need for recognition to a vertical pursuit for heavenly connection. You were designed by God to walk with God. You weren't made for mob rule or societal coercion. Just a general rule of thumb here. But religious people tend to have a driving desire to control others. They may call it ministry, but pushing people is not shepherding people. Pushing people is not shepherding people. Jesus never pushes. He leads. That means you have the choice to either follow or go the other way. You've heard me stress this in other series, but choice is essential to your God design and activation of authority. You can't love or obey or trust God unless it's the choice that you make. That means you have to own the option to not love God, not obey God, or to love Him and to obey Him. Jesus leads us, but it's up to you to follow Him. Now, truly empowered people do not, they do not try to control others. They know that that's not God's way, and the very act or motive of trying to control others is actually witchcraft. Witchcraft is not of God and will completely short circuit your ability to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Witchcraft, a Jezebel spirit, is controlling, manipulative, demanding, coercive, and makes, uh, make no mistake about this, it is anti-Christ, therefore it is anti-true life and freedom. Demonic powers can imitate supernatural powers and have a counterfeit type of sign and wonder, but it's in complete opposition to God's great plans for your life. It ends in spiritual death. Demons promote sickness, poverty, disease, infirmity, mental brokenness, and all kinds of addictions. They want power over your life. God wants you free, whereas the devil wants you enslaved to his will. Jesus said the devil is the father of lies who has come to steal, kill, and destroy. What kind of supernatural power do you want flowing in your life? Ask yourself, do you want good or evil?